Right, guys, so we've got an opportunity to get a part X in against this little panda. We've got this interesting gentleman that's come down and uh, he's interested in the panda. Because if you're gonna break into my cars, I'd rather you didn't smash the windows or damage the locks. I'd rather you just walked into them. What's going on? What's, What's your going problem? on here? Oh, What's you that? put that back. That's that's just. I was just making sure it was um, clear of any clear of any codes for you. That's, no, all. <laughs> that's another fifty quid off it. Right. So let's have a look at his part exchange. You ready for this one, guys? This is what he wants to part exchange. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Now this is a proper random part exchange. I think there must be cash my way on this deal, I'd have thought. So what have we got here then, Mike? Well, it's a free two litre Pinto. Two litre Pinto? Yeah. Uh, with an interesting paint job. I've left a few to rattle can it. Rattle can? Yeah, we've done all the... I'll probably only go... You've seen all the work we've done to it. I'd probably only go for about £500 worth of rattle cans to rattle can that, wouldn't I? No, we'll spray that in the summer. So, and it's a laser, isn't it, this yeah, one? it's a two litre laser. Two litre laser. Yeah. I've never had a Capri, ever, no. ever, ever. No. We need to get some covers for the seats, don't we? Uh, yeah, gaffer tape. Gaffer tape, what's that all about? Well, this, you do rattle can, we do gaffer tape. Oh, I can sew that up, actually. I don't know why, why didn't you get a needle out and have a little needle and thread job on it? No, I'll leave that to you. <laughs> Look at the beauty in here. Right, what have we got features wise, guys? Indicators <coughs> and headlights. Indicators, headlights, and no stereo. Rear wiper, rear wiper. I didn't get a stereo out of it. Well, you know. What am I missing there? Adjustment for, well, my, you, for, you, for you, the windows. You're not giving me enough in part X of the Panda. And is this, is this a feature? The crap dash, yeah, is that they, a feature they, of them? They came up, they came up the factory like that. Oh my God, sunroof. I didn't realize we had a sunroof. Look at that. A thing of beauty, mate. A thing of beauty. Yeah. Mike, tell me this Capri, what have you done to it? Oh, then we put new arches in. Oh, so that is an original paint then? <laughs> what we've done, we put new arches in. Okay. Fiberglass filled arches or metal ones? Metal, mate. <laughs> metal. So what we've done, we cut them in, butted it in there, so we cut cut the old out. You know, a lot of people just put the, just put them over. Oh yeah, I've seen that you know, before, yeah. we cut it out, so it's one, one skin, not four underneath the other, yeah. your hands up. And it rots later and, uh, on. What I've done is I bought two sills for it, but it didn't need it. It just it was here at the edge. So you did the end of the sills? Yeah, so I butted the the edge of that sill in. I yeah. Didn't bother. It all like new, so I didn't bother. Done the same on the other side. Uh, that so it's got sills. Two new wheel arches. Two sills, rear sills. Yeah. But only Two rear wheel arches, sorry, yeah. and the ends of the rear sills. Yeah, you didn't need anything else. Uh, it's had a new timing belt, uh, water pump, thermal housing, and a full service. You even MOT'd it for me, didn't you? I MOT'd it, got 12 months on it for you. And you did a couple, I remember you doing a little couple of repairs at the front here, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we've done a couple of bits of metal in here, I did. Yeah. Just a couple of bits there, I want some metal in, and I put some here. On. You left me some masking tape there, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so here, this oh, was yeah. all gone. I don't yeah. know, well you've seen the videos, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, you didn't put them on, uh, you didn't put them on your old uh, YouTube, you've got a YouTube channel yet, have you? No. I leave that to you. So, YouTube. liquor paint. We'll do, we'll do it in the summer, we'll, we'll give okay. it a liquor paint. And then, and then I'll just be having it back off you anyway. So. And then we can drive around like a couple of proper middle-aged men, can't yeah, we? what we can do, <laughs> we could even put the old car keys and crutch. <laughs> What's done? We'll get Mr. Flashy on the roof. Can I have a massive rear spoiler? Yeah. And some graphics down the side of it as well? Yeah, Ideal. Ideal. We've got two keys. We're debumpered de on the rear. Did it fall off on the way down? Yeah, it's in an edge somewhere, in, in uh, Taunton. So we've got a manual clutch on this, or is it automatic? Come on. Oh, I don't know anything, anything about these things. Why you got your foot on the clutch for? Because I, cause you, might have, left it in, you might have left it in gear. I don't know if you've left it in gear or not, do I? Yeah, I, I can't tell with that. Bit of film in here. Can't do, well, that's, what is that thing all about, though? That's just the spoiler. Is that so you can quickly change? Yeah, that's the short shift. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 
Throttle it. Uh, uh oh, it doesn't start. Let go, let go, let go. Throttle, throttle it. Is it not like, you, do you not do the old MGB trick, two pumps first and then turn it on? When, when it, in, in the morning, in the morning, in the morning, you pump it twice and it's automatic choke. Right, yeah, see that's it, that's like, yeah. And that, we've only done 26,000 miles yeah. from you, that's oh, it, yeah. only 26,000. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one lady owner. Hold on, I think he's rubbed out that one in front. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's, I think... Yeah, I can see that. It's, uh, it's not, he's got there, scratched it out. So it's going to be 126,000, yeah? The battery says it's half full. The oil says it's full. That's <laughs> your oil temp. Yeah. Your battery fuel. Fuel. Oh, look yeah. at that. I, I hope that's... Is that broken? That's got to be no, broken, no, it's isn't not. it? I There's hope... no way it came down that tiny amount of yeah, fuel, is it? Yeah, I hope the, uh, the pans is full. The temp gauge is the temp no, must sorry. be broken, Mr. Nick. No, it's getting... not broken at all. Oh, all right, the only good. thing that's broken here is you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got in a glove box, and I think. Yeah, pull that out there. I've got these the decals there if you ever wanted to. A... All right. What decals? Laser decals. Yeah, yeah. All of them. Oh, look at that, guys. Two litre Capri. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, wheel spinning. <laughs> Go on then. You hold on to the camera, let's give it a go, see if I can get this thing going. Is he really going to do it? Come on! You gotta love him, haven't you? Look at that free lever. And there it is. Right, you ready? So what we'll do? You ready? I'm gonna slide across the bonnet. <laughs> no, don't do that. We'll do the uh, the minder out of daily. Tony. Cheers. <laughs> right, ready? Right. I think the part of the deal is you've got to slide across the bonnet. No, I can't. No, no, I can't. <laughs> too old for that what a bit of retro coolness eh so yeah another random purchase for chops garage and um another one coming soon. there is another one coming soon yeah. as well isn't there yeah. right let's see if we can get this panda working for you or not and then you can give me the cash on top <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me sell you on the panda what we've got is a unique four speed 1.1 now, you might be mistaken to think that these are supposed to be five speed, but there's a limited edition four speed. The, the thing that makes them valuable is they put a five speed gear knob in it, <laughs> even though it's four speed. And it was like one of those coins where they make a little error or a mistake on it. That makes these worth more money. Um, they also had a James Bond feature. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> Smoke screen. <laughs> they got uh, start it up we'll have a look I'll, we'll engage see if the uh, yeah, jade bot feature is engaged okay the fun thing about it is you never quite know when it's going to happen it's not like a button you can press they designed it so it just randomly goes off for you what's that that is the um, so you can't <laughs> accidentally start it it gives you two chances so you can't accidentally start it and uh, the smoke screen Oh, uh, yeah, it's decided not to run the smoke screen today. That's okay. But that's the fun thing about it—you never know when it's going to. Not any more money now. It's not smoking. Yeah, actually, we do need to—we do need to discuss that part exchange price now that it's not smoking heavily. Give it a few revs. Should we give it a few revs and see if it was? I should just leave it well enough alone, but. Yeah. Oh no, we've got a little bit of a smoke screen on the go now. Now you've accelerated. Oh, no, it's just setting it down. So um, we are throwing in a free fuel rail with this. Yeah, but no fuel. No fuel. You get a free fuel rail, but no fuel. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I say, limited edition and, and smoke screen. It's, it's, no fit. As we discussed, that's the feature on this. Oh, that's a special edition. It is. It's the, uh, they call it the urban edition. <laughs> it's for when you just run around town. <laughs> Mike had to run, I had to do a handover on a car, but I think we all knew I wasn't gonna leave the Capri sitting around 
for very long in the paint that it was. So I had some cans kicking around various different reds and I've gone to town on the Capri. I didn't want it sitting around with all the um, primer on it because that can be absorbent. I also didn't want it sitting around looking too scruffy. So I literally just broke out the rattle cans. We've got some tartan red on here from MGB. We've got some Peugeot 106 Rally red on it. So appropriate old school stuff. And just gone round and coated all of those areas of primer. I also didn't like the gaffer tape, so the gaffer tape came off. I got the spray adhesive and stuck the seat fabric back down again. It's a bit frilly on the edges, but better than gaffer tape. And yeah, hour or so's work, already looking a lot tidier. Obviously no um, lacquer, no flat in the paint back, all of those things. It's gonna to have to have a full respray. So that can all be done later at the moment. It was just like I say, to seal in that primer, make the car look a bit tidier while it's sitting around. And I think you'll agree it does. Mike's gonna be so mad. He said, don't get the rattle cans out. I'll come down and I'll spray it with you. That tough titty, Mike. Right, I've gone through the pain of getting all my vat and my paperwork done and I thought, you know, let's have a little play on the Saab for a minute or two as it's here blocking away. What I want to do is I want to have a quick look. Never done it before. I'm going to be learning as I go, as always. I've got some very basic tools there. I've got some more next door, but obviously this is not the workshop area. I want to get the cover off of the clutch and see if I can have a look at the slave. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see it and see if the slave cylinder is bad. Um, rather than the entire clutch being bad. We're going to have to get in here anyway, so I might as well have a go at doing it. Luckily, it all looks like it's just kind of like, um, you know, it's all just Phillips and, and flatheads to take a lot of this off. Although we probably are going to need some WD, so what's the worst that can happen? Let's have a go. As I said, first up, I'm just going to put WD-40 on stuff because this is going to make life a lot easier. We know it's been sitting for an age. And all these pipes are going to have to come off anyway, so it doesn't matter if the WD-40 upsets it. So we'll just do that. I've got, I haven't had a brew yet, so I'm going to make a quick brew and then we'll start stripping these bits and bobs off. Right, we're piping out of the way, so we're going to. There you go. We're going to just put some cloths in the turbos here, in the turbo. Sorry, in the, I don't want anything going in there. In either of the holes there, because they're precious little devils, aren't they? The turbos. So we'll put those in there just to stop anything unwanted going. And now we can actually get a look what we've got going on down here so that is presumably the our slave there with the pipe going I've never seen anything like it before in my life so you've got a pipe going down there it's all very rusty and crusty that's presumably a bleed nipple for the slave we could douse that I, I will have a look in the book you get, might as well douse that there, make sure that we can break those off anyway because it's going to need replacing either way I think isn't it it's a really weird setup isn't it having the clutch on the front here can't really work out how it's all going so we've got some 10 mils holding this plastic cover on the front that's going to be the next thing to get off I think to have a good look around
just said take this out, which I can assure you wasn't that easy, because there's these clips here that hold this pipe over the top, and they're all pointing that direction. They want to hold it in place. The only thing I could do is bend them back because they were soft enough to bend back, and uh, that's the only way I could wiggle it out. And then. I did actually catch the edge against a couple of fins on the radiator, which I'm not pleased about either. But I think that radiator's toast anyway. So here we have it. And we see our slave there. And, uh, sorry about the light. Yeah. Nothing particularly obvious. There is quite a lot of fluid actually down. Even down there, it looks like there might have been a bit of fluid leaking down the bottom there. So it could be that it's the actual... Uh, slave that's stuff that release there could be just replacing that sorts out it's difficult to see the condition of the i can't see the condition of the clutch plate can i so looking at the new slave we've got the three allen key bolts to take out mine appears to have been started on and given up on or someone put in one at one point and decided they didn't need the third bolt because i haven't got one down there well, I have got one here. Unfortunately, I left the one in down the bottom, which is the pain in the bum one. There's no way of getting a tool in here, so it's literally turn it. You know, top one, not so bad. Bottom one, you're getting one, one turn a time on it. And you just got to keep going and going. So I won't bore you to death with that. I'll come back when I've managed to draw them all out. Now, sorry for the flickering. I've got them out. Now, at this point, what would normally happen is I'd be able to withdraw this because the fingers... Of the clutch would be back because I'd have had someone put their foot down on the clutch to compress the fingers put the tool in lock those in place but without any hydraulic pressure you can't do that now Saab have a massive tool that goes in like a big pry bar to hold it back it's about 800 pounds to buy that tool so what we now need to do and on my own as well I'm on my own today is somehow get enough clearance to pull this slave out from the fingers of this clutch i've got to wedge something in here so uh i think a big pry bar is probably my first bet i'm replacing the clutch i'm replacing i mean the other thing i could do is undo the clutch and see if i can slide that out i don't know if that'd help me or not i think i'd rather try a pry bar pry bar first but i'm replacing the clutch i'm replacing the um release bearing and obviously i'm replacing the slave so i can afford to damage the damage them in some ways much we need to get this cover off the front here and um, draw the shaft out the middle which will make more sense once I start doing it uh, I'm not quite sure I would do this clip two seconds let me read the book again looks like it's just a tight fit again so it's a case of just prizing it off I think Famous last word before we break something. And oh, there we go. Ping. Off that comes. And then uh, we've got a cover there. And does the cover come off? Again, it looks like it should just pop off that cover. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit there I think I might be able to get to. Let's try a pry bar again. Yeah, did it. So we've got the cover off the front there. And there should be a plastic there. So it is a plastic propeller that I need to undo. And that is anti-clockwise. Put all this in the car in a second so we don't lose it. There we go, that's out. So let's put this now there's a shaft that runs right the way through the middle. I've got to put an eight mil bolt on and then pry that shaft out. Now whether I need to take the radiator out to get the shaft out completely or not, I'm not sure. The instructions don't say, but I would have thought it's going to be a tight fit because it's that that long in there. So if we take that far back, it might go just far enough back here actually to let the let the um, let the little slave come out. So I found a bolt that fits the right size. We've just got to put a washer on it as well. Ideally a bigger one, I think, for levering against, but we'll give this a go. So belt and washer, get that into the front where that little plastic, huge and what's it came out of. 
thread this in here and then we're supposed to use this to lever that bar at the center so we've got the thread on there and then get the lever bar in it would be easier with the bonnet off but I really don't want to take the bonnet off on my own for danger of dropping it and damaging it is it going to come? hmm might need a dap well, I didn't get on camera there it just gave in one go this came straight out I'm going to unthread that bolt so I can get this further back. So unthread the bolt there, and then pull the shaft as far back as I can. Now I imagine that should give me enough room because it doesn't talk about taking the radiator out. But as you can see, sorry, that light. You see it's right up against the radiator now. I'm assuming that's enough clearance, but I can't be sure. I'll have to see if it starts to bind up against the uh, slave here. So the picture here shows, I think it shows the radiator still in place. It doesn't mention taking the radiator out at all. So I'm assuming we don't need to remove the radiator. We'll see how we get on. So I explained to you what I'm trying to do at the moment, let's get the light out of the way, is I'm trying to use the lever bar behind the slave cylinder push the clutch in and then feed the tool in around the edge the only trouble is it is popping back out every now and then so it is causing me quite a lot of uh, hassle but I can't really think of any other way to do it so I'm going to persevere with that for the moment we're getting close guys we've got about half of that tool in now by combination of using the pry bars to pull the fingers back and going in behind the slave one side in but I couldn't get the other side off I've just opted for brute force in the end and I've got it this far I don't know whether I'm going to be a lever out the rest of the way or not I'm going to give it a go though I'm going to get myself a coffee until I've got this out which is normally the other way around you actually want to take a break and come back with a fresh set of eyes but I'm pissed off with it now and I want it out looks like brute force has won guys well, the looks of it, I think. Is that famous last words? Uh, no, it's still got a little bit more to get it out. So I think it'd be rude not to drive this home tonight, wouldn't it? Oh, let's just check everything since it's had its. Just check everything over since it's had its journey. There's gonna be some nice things just to tot up here, like paint that bit there black. That'll t lift the engine bay quite a lot. Paint the rocker cover. Gosh, I have the worst job in the world, don't I, guys? I'm to constantly drive all these different interesting cars. <laughs> driven a Capri so I can't tell you whether a lot of the things are going to be Capri things or whether they're just me things. Gearbox seems okay. Up in fifth.
gear change is quite a long throw on these compared to the modern cars that drive. Thank you. 